And welcome back, folks, for more If My Heart ha If My Heart Had Wings. I'm stumbling again, and it's just started. Oh, great. Ah, whatever. Let's go. My first job as dorm mother. That is, to make breakfast for the boarders. While someone's having fun eating. Well, yeah, sure. Sure. A big bowl, right? I know, I know. I'm pretty confident in my cooking. Until recently, I was living with my father, who was ordered to transfer to the country, and every day I helped with the housework. I was in charge of preparing the meals, and it's not like I hated cooking or anything. That's one of the reasons why I accepted the job as dorm mother. So the others don't need breakfast, huh? Since just now, no one has come to the dining hall. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sometimes there would be someone walking through the hallway in front, but they seem to be sneaking around. Kanako looked towards the hallway, just at the, just at the oldest border Yuka was speaking in before swiftly dashing off. So I guess they're scared. Not gotten used to boys? Really? Is that it? They go to a cold school, right? Kifu's code is cool, right? Oh, hey, you read my mind. Or maybe I did. I don't know. Whatever. Is it that big of a problem, seeing a girl without makeup? Oh, maybe maybe the head, maybe the bad hair is the problem. The bad hair, yeah, but, yeah. Whatever. I... I don't know. Can be kind of cute if you think about it. Well, it depends on the girl, I guess. But uh. well, let's just move on. I, I'm beginning. I'm beginning to think uh, too too much about this. I see. It seems that a guy being the dorm mother of a of a girl's dormitory will have its problems after all. There is a reason why I accepted the job as dorm mother at Flying Fish Manor. I can't get over that name. <laughs> yeah. Not long ago, the owner janitor collapsed. It sounds like she's pretty old, and as well as training her back, she caught a summer cold which became aggravated. The owner soon began looking for a replacement, but it was hard to find one. Then she sought help for the real estate company where my mother works. This is one of the properties that my mom manages, and is an old acquaintance of the owner from decades ago. Okay, that would explain things. Because I don't think guy being uh, the dorm mother, the, yeah, that's just the dorm leader of a girl's dormitory can work out. At least if Aoi is a student and the girls are about the same age. She, nom she nominated me for this job, just as I, just I was planning to come back here. On the documents, my mom is the one responsible for this place, but she got me to carry out the practical duties, in other words, the work of the dorm mother. Then, that became the condition for me to coming back to this town. As always, she's very crafty, but I wasn't really against the idea, so I accepted. If I'd known it was a girl's dormitory, of course I would have refused. I'm not so sure about that, but I'll let it slip. This place is old, a little far from the school, but the rent is cheap. Apart from the food and admin expenses, it costs next to nothing. That's why it would be a big problem for me if I couldn't stay here, and if in the worst case scenario, the boarders won't be able to go to school. So for now, it seems that everyone has accepted a guy as a dorm mother. Are you going to keep calling yourself that? Well, I'm glad you're enjoying. 
Hanako stacked up the dishes on the counter and licked her lips in satisfaction. Bye bye. She hadn't eaten it at all. Not even a single grain of rice was left. Wow. To have people enjoy my cooking feels pretty good. Yeah. I can totally agree with that. I feel deeply relieved. I'm happy that things are going well. With one girl at least. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, jeez. I'd better get ready for school. Hello there. In the entrance of the dormitory, there was Kotori. She was dressed in her uniform. It looked like she was about to go to school. Morning, Kotori. Are you going to school? Shall we go together? Well, I just want to escort you, that's all. Why? Well... No, 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 it's not about your legs. What the hell? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she put it bluntly as she quickly went out the front door. I don't have any friends at school, so I was just asking. It looked like we ha we'd had a strange misunderstanding. Yep. Gonna try to figure that one out. Wearing my new uniform, I make my way to school. I'm a dorm mother, but also a student of Keifu Academy. I mean, this is my real occupation. Yeah, who would have thought? Today is the first day at my new school. I'm not really the shy type, but I guess I am kind of nervous. I would say that the school I was going to before was a sports focused all boys school. Keifu Academy, the school I'll be going to now, is an, is an engineering school and a co ode. And the school traditions are quite different too. And, and cold. Okay. As I walk the streets that lead to school, there are more and more pe groups of people wearing the same uniform. Getting closer. This is the same era in which I lived five years ago. There should be a few people that I know, but most of the people who I recognized went on to regular schools. I wonder if the ones who chose to go to Keifu Academy remember me. Even if I only know one person, it would make a big difference. There'll be more weird misunderstandings with Miss Alul, too. Heh, <laughs> Alul. Oh yeah, which school do which school do Akeha and the others go to? Pixelation. They're my childhood friends who I always played with when I was a kid. There's Akeha, Mabo, Hotaru, and Anchan. Out of that group, Ageha and Mabo are the same age as me, but we haven't met in five years and haven't really stayed in touch. We just about managed to exchange New Year cards, but that reminds me, in the corner of the ICR's New Year card, I think there was a small message about which school we were planning to go to. What did it say? A lot of things happen, or maybe I'm just lazy, but I haven't told anyone apart from Anchan that I'm coming back. To be honest, I'm not even sure how I should be. If I met them. With the ones like Ageha, she'd probably smash my face in. She'd say, why didn't you contact me or something? She looked and act like a real tomboy. Oh, really? That spells trouble, man. When I remember the past, it makes me smile, but... Oh, oh yeah, yes, yes. What's going on? Oh, hello there. At the point where Toe Street leading to the school meet, there was a girl wearing a cape for uniform standing there, looking towards me. The other girls that she was walking to school with asked, What's up? and seemed puzzled at the, as they spoke to her. However, it seems that that girl can't hear them and she's staring over here, at me. Uh oh oh. Just faintly, her eyes seemed full of surprise. She's pretty cute. Oh man, don't. Don't start. Without realizing, I stopped walking and was staring at the girl. Until a few days ago, I was going to an all-boys school. 
The sight of a girl on the way just cool in her uniform, she was pretty cute too. <laughs> you, do you need to say that? <laughs> Causing me to get palpitations is perfectly reasonable. Well, yeah, but you, you don't need to stress it twice, you know. She's cute, okay. I get it. Oh man, she knows you, dude. Yes, it is. Suddenly having someone call my name in such a carefree manner made me feel a little nervous. Who is it? Oh man, if you don't remember her name, that's gonna be a big problem. There, she said my name again, and she, ha she has such a happy expression on her face. Do I know any girls this cute? No, wait. I've seen this face before. When she smiles like this, and her eyes sparkle like a little kid's. Is that you, Agaha? Um, no, no, I, I didn't. I totally didn't forget. Yeah. She asked as she briskly moved closer, bringing her face right up to mine. It's definitely Ageha. She's changed a lot, but if I just look at her face, there's no doubt that it's her. Is it really that Ageha? Possibly none, I guess. Apart from your parents, I suppose. What is it? What is it? Said the other girls as they gathered around the circle. I get hot turned to face them and introduced me. Sachin replied, No way, Aoi! As she warmly raised her voice in surprise. When we were in the fourth grade of elementary school, we were in the same class once. Okay, so she's a childhood friend. Yeah, it's stereotypical, but that works. That works. The girl seemed impressed by Ageha's explanation and looked at me with eyes full of expectation. Expectation? What are you expecting? Nice to meet you, I'm Aoi Minase. In front of all these girls in their uniforms, I greeted them with a stern look on my face as I tried to hide my embarrassment. <laughs> I get how laughed as she looked on with relish, relish. Yeah, I guess so. Ah. I, 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 uh. Oh man, now I'm confused as well. Jeez, dude. I never thought I would find myself doing introductions in the street on the way to school like this, so I was totally unprepared. I'll say it again. Let me do it again. Oh. I'll say it again. Let me do it again. There, better. I could hear Mr. Lul's words in the back of my head, uh, in the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. As she spoke, Ageha was moving her hands around my head to show the difference in the height between myself and her. Our bodies were making contact, but she either didn't notice or didn't really mind. I flinched slightly, but the fact that she was so in reserve actually made me feel more comfortable. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're just enjoying uh, the moment, but okay. What's so unfair? Everyone grows up. Speaking of which, you've changed too. Well, yeah. Apparently, Aoi didn't even recognize you. As she said, you think so? She looked at herself. Yeah, you always look like a, you always look like a boy, so I was surprised to see that you became a girl. Oh man, you're gonna get punched in the face. Those were my honest thoughts, but I said them in a way that sounded weird. I thought she might find it slightly charming, but I don't think any girl would find that charming. Seriously? I can laugh happily and did as 
little turn on this pot. The four surface spin made her skirt float around gently. Yeah, it's like it's it's like you're not really Ageha. While dazed and not really thinking, those thoughts just kind of slipped out. Okay, she's happy. Well, okay. Uh, that works out in the end. We didn't get punched. That's cool. I can't was pleased when I did high, f <laughs> when I did high fives with her friends, and yeah, and did high fives with her friends. It's not a way who did it. Uh, and I'm get I'm getting confused. Sorry, guys. Seeing her in high spirits like that was just like old times. Akiha, my best friend during my childhood, hadn't changed in the five years that had passed. Her appearance was surprising, though. The lessons on my first day at my new school flew by in the blink of an eye. Between the language and social studies lessons taught in the regular schools were those from a specialist curriculum. I was still in the second grade, so there aren't that many, but it looks like when you go into the third and fourth grades, the number of these specialist lessons increases. By the way, this is a five-year school. That's why when walking in the hallways, this kind of thing happens. Hey, she's pretty. Oh man, no. We're checking out every girl in sight. Coming from an old boy's school with its sad cust. <laughs> I don't want to know what's what's that. Uh, I couldn't help my eyes from following the girls as I walked past them. Oh, police! Police! She's doing the policewoman. No, that's not it. I th I just thought they were little really grown up. That's all. At our age, a gap for three or four years is pretty big. The students in the upper grades look very mature. Really? The percentage of girls is pretty high, huh? Okay, if you say so. Not like it makes a difference. Huh? Why is that? Without thinking, I really took an interest in that, and Nagaha looked at me as if she wanted to call me a pervert. Why? Okay. I heard about that before it's transferred. They increased the number of courses for girls and asked the famous designers to make the designs for the new building. It has been said, thanks to that, the ratio of boys and girls is about 50 50, which is one of the selling points of the school. Bearing this in mind, I felt uneasy about choosing this school as the one I would transfer to, but I'd like people to think that it can't be helped because I'm from an all-boys school. By the way, it's now lunchtime. Akiha is in the middle of giving me a guided tour of the school building. Yeah, but this really is an amazing school. And this is unnatural at all. <laughs> oh, whatever. The school itself is pretty old. Due to it being a special kind of school, of course, it's famous in the local area. I've known about it too since I was a little kid. The school building has been rebuilt over the last few years, with the renovations divided into several stages, the last of which was completed just one year ago. It's said that it's because of the famous designers. The design uses many curved lines, so the appearance is far removed from what that generally associated with the word school. It felt like I had entered some kind of sci-fi setting. Mm, yeah, I guess. Mm-hmm. This is mine, huh? Disabled access? That's right, Miss Lu. I mean Kotori. Should be somewhere in this school. Well, I've grown up, huh? Check me out. <clears throat> no, sorry. 
Akiha, as she walked by my side, was happily murmuring as the as she looked as the Oh no, there is a there is a typo. As she looked at my face. Are you smiling? Do you like a do you like rugged faces? Yeah, same to you. Yeah, you definitely you definitely don't look rugged. If she knew that when we met on the way to school earlier, I thought she's pretty cute. She never let it go, so I'd better keep quiet. Yeah, good call, ma'am. Oh, and I thought he didn't say anything to anyone else. Okay. You heard it from Anchan? By the way, I'm in the same class as Akeha. She knew that I might be coming as a transfer student, which is why she wasn't that surprised by our chance meeting this morning. I have to say, this voice, I believe I heard it too. But, you know, let's just move on. S sorry. The reason why we call him Anchan isn't because he's like an older brother type guy. Aniki equals a lord guy, like a big brother. Ah, thanks for the explanation. He was our childhood friend, but he was much older than us, so we nicknamed we nicknamed him Anchan. He's not related by blood, but he's just like a real big brother. I get hugged, glared at me, and said, "Cheese," as I tried to laugh it off. Axe bomb lariat. Oh great. So she the kind of girl who who knows uh, wrestling moves and uh, and holds and uh, is karate or whatever martial arts. She wouldn't really have it. She she wouldn't really have hit me. As we talked, we went back to, to the classroom. Oh, awesome. Everyone's got this dream. Oh, cool. The classrooms weren't exactly normal either. I feel a little uneasy taking lessons here, but maybe I'll get used to it sometime soon. By the way, there's a girl in a wheelchair in this school, right? Miss Salul. No, I mean, she's called Kotori Habane. I asked Agaha as we returned to our seats. I didn't ask what grade she was in, but even if it's not the same, I thought Agaha would, le would at least be aware of her. Wait, what's wrong? Agaha reacted like she was being evasive. It wasn't just Agaha, but the other people sitting nearby who heard our conversation also seemed kind of awkward. Huh? Okay, so she's in this class. But not here today, huh? But where? She was in her uniform this morning. Where did she go to? After Ageha said that, someone added, You mean today either? You mean today either, don't you? The way she said that seemed quite harsh. That can't be. I mean, I thought about explaining that she had left the dormitory this morning in her uniform, but I held my tongue. The atmosphere was kind of strange. Hmm. Not feeling well? Yesterday, she had went out to a windmill hill, and then later she was chasing that duck around the halls of the dormitory. And this morning, she left wearing her uniform. Is she skipping school? Most likely. However, more worrying than that than what Kotori is up to is the reaction of the others in the class when they heard us talking about her. Even Akeha looked like she had something she wanted to say but couldn't. But I don't really know what the situation is, so I can't really say anything. Yeah. Still, this is unsettling. Oi, Yamamoto. As the awkwardness started to fade, an optimistic voice called out. 
From the entrance of the classroom, a carefree looking guy poked his head and started speaking to a boy in our class. Hmm? Oh, so okay, so another another childhood friend, I guess. The guy known as Mabo came into the classroom. Huh? Eri-chan. Hmm. Is that... Oh. Oh, okay. I get it. Maybe she's, uh, she's his girlfriend, I guess. <laughs> Are you sure you want to say that right next to her? Akehai and I both looked blankly at him for a moment. Long time no see, Mabo. Why is this transfer student being so buddy buddy with me? His face seemed like his, his his face seemed to say, "Man, I'm stumbling." It's me. Have you forgotten me? Okay, now that's a reaction. I looked at Ageha and she. She wanted to surprise him, so it seems like she intentionally didn't tell him. This slightly superficial guy. <laughs> What a way to introduce someone is uh, Masatsugu Tasaki or Mabo as we call him. Ah, oh, thank God he's got a nickname. I don't think I can manage to say that again. He's our childhood friend. <laughs> what? You're not happy to see me? <laughs> You seem well, Mabo. You've grown pretty big. Oh man, I have to say it again. Masatsugu he used to be really small, but now he was about the same size as me. It's not quite the it's not quite like this change Ageha, but in the five years that have passed since we were kids, it looks like he's grown to about twice the size. Uh oh. We grabbed each other by the right hand. This was instead of a small this was instead of a small quiet greeting. Okay. Well, yes, it is. Don't start crying, dude. I don't like that. Yeah, I'm back, Mabo. Yeah, talk about an excessive reaction, but well, some people are like that, I guess. This time, bam, he gave me a full on hug. Hey! We were the only ones who thought so. Whereas all of the girls around us were totally freaked out. What? what? Huh? Okay, what's going on? Why am I a traitor now? Mabo suddenly backed up and thrust his finger at the end of my nose. Hey, don't do that. What is this all of a sudden? Yeah, so what? I mean, uh, it's not li like uh, you had a choice. He moved out. I'm sorry, but it's not my fault that I had to move away. If you want to complain, say it to my dad. I thought about writing a letter, but I kind of, I kind of felt embarrassed. I felt kind of embarrassed. Or why did I? Whatever. For the most part, the fact that there was no contact was both our faults. Uh huh. Okay. Ah, oh, come on, are you a kid? With saliva flying out of his mouth as he emphasized his words, Mabo forgot all about borrowing, borrowing the English dictionary 
and he stormed out of the classroom. Yes, my words exactly. It wasn't just us, but everyone in the classroom was shocked. I think that was the correct decision. I want to say thank you. Even so, he did seem really upset about it. Oh, okay, so he does have a girlfriend now. Recently. Hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe he's the kind who doesn't like to be alone. Don't say it like that, it sounds weird. <laughs> While we carried on talking, the bell to mark the end of lunchtime sounded. Everyone put away their lunch boxes and got ready for the next lesson. Akeha went back to her seat. She stopped halfway, then walked back. What's up? Akeha seemed concerned about those around us and lowered her voice. Oh, 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 uh, pure coincidence, pure coincidence, miss. Well, the truth is, my mom asked me to be the dorm mother of a student dormitory. I lowered my voice so that those around us couldn't hear. Yep. Kotori is boarding there. My mom asked me to take good care of Kotori. Even if she hadn't, I'd be worried about her anyway. As she listened to my explanation, Ageha thought it over, and she's making a <laughs> funny face. Her expression darkened somehow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So maybe we have to do something about it. It looked as if she was saying, I can't believe she doesn't enjoy school. You seem to enjoy it. <laughs> yep, it should be. I guess. It was still my first day at the new school, but I was enjoying quite a lot too. But it's your first day, so uh... What? Whether or not she was convinced by my story, Ageha mumbled something or other as she returned to her seat. Something or other? Okay, fine. Uh, let's check the time. Uh, uh, it's already half an hour. Uh, just a little more. After school. I was alone and was wandering around the school building. This was so that I could take a look at some of the club activities. Film studies, theater club, there isn't even an RC club. This is, after all, a specialist school. Looking at the playing field from the window and the heat outside, I saw the sports club practicing. Compared to my school, it's pretty calm. The sports club at the school I used to go to were taken so seriously. The sight of training before a match was one of grueling har harshness. Sorry. Wait. What do I mean my school? I'm assuming this school now. I'll go take a look. And I think I'm gonna stop here since he's not saying anything. So, uh, again, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, if you like this kind of video, uh, just uh well please tell me so like it whatever send me a pm if you have suggestions feedback whatever really anything anything to uh to help me maybe improve or maybe if you want specific uh visual novels to be to be played uh i don't know you you just uh, just shoot me a pm so, uh, okay, I'll see you guys uh, next time, maybe.